Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Shanka Show – Stories about life in the Soviet Union. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи! В эфире программа Ушанка Шоу. And we just reached 100,000 subscribers, quite a milestone, so thank you everyone for your support. Thank you everyone who likes my long and boring stories. And I was actually able to record that moment. That was pretty cool when from 99,999 turned to 100,000. So a couple of days ago I posted this picture on the Ushanka community page asking what does that mean. And we had about 31 comments, a lot of silly ones. So today we're going to talk about what does that mean. Well, this is the full image I cut off the top and it says Armia Eta. Army is two years, 24 months. 104 weeks, 730 days, 17,544 hours, 1,052,640 minutes, 63,150,400 seconds, and now we got interesting part, 140 baths, 244 eggs, 14.6 kilos of butter, 548 pieces of sugar, 511 liters of tea, 146 liters of kisel, and 142 liters of compote. So let's talk about these numbers. 730 dnev sapagah. That was a popular way to describe military service in Soviet Union. 730 days wearing boots. And on the bottom you see the pair of soldiers' boots and the letters SA behind it, which means Sovietska Armia, Soviet Army. By the way, I forgot to mention that what we're looking at today is so-called Dembelsky album, demobilization album. So that's what Soviet soldiers made uh, for themselves to remember about their military service. It's like a fancy handmade photo album. A couple of years ago I already made a video on this topic and if you missed it I'll post the link below in the comment section. So on the cover of this Dembirsky album says Pamitya Slushby, memory about service, and on the bottom Luga, which is the name of town in Leningrad region, and then years of service 1986 to 1988. And the guy was three years older than me because my generation went to military service well, they turn 18 in 1989. And that symbol on the cover is Soviet Army cockade or the badge that was placed on the front of the Ushanka hats or any other military hats. And on the first page we got confirmation that it was in fact Leningradsky Vayenny Okrug, Leningrad military area. And the person served in 156 VSO. Vayenna Straitilna Atriad, so it's a military construction group. And this is the emblem of military construction troops, but we usually call them Stroybat, which is short for Straitilna Battalion, construction battalion. Serving in Stroybat construction battalion was considered the worst thing could happen to you in military service, because it meant that health-wise you're barely good enough to be in military, not good enough to be a real soldier, and you're gonna spend two years with shovel in your hand instead of AK-47. And I recall we had a joke about Stroybat that CIA sent report that they discovered there is a way more dangerous military outfit than Soviet Spetsnaz and that outfit is called Stroybat. And those guys are so dangerous that even Soviet military doesn't trust them with weapons. <laughs> I apologize for that short detour, let's go back to our Dembelsky album. So here we got an interesting quote, it says Жизнь – это книга, а армия вырывает из этой книги два листа на самом интересном месте. Your life is a book, an army rips two pages out of your book, which is two pages, two years, at the most interesting part of your life. But let's go back to our numbers page because there are some interesting things I would like to discuss with you guys. One of the best answers to my quiz I got from I stole a BTR80, beautiful nickname. I've had to make use of a dictionary a lot here, but I'm assuming since it says army this is, this is the amount of ration items consumed by a single Soviet soldier on average over a course of two years. So. A great answer there, but he also got confused, says, and also 104 bathhouse trips. 
that last one definitely feels a bit low to me. But maybe that's in addition to daily showers. <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay, so I highlighted two numbers that matches on this page. 104 weeks of military service and 104 baths. Which means Soviet soldier took a bath once a week. So in the course of two years, he washed himself 104 times. And if you are surprised by my statement, you probably missed my video that I posted a couple of years ago. It's called Inconvenient Truth About Hygiene in the Soviet Union. And I also post the link below in the comment section. So that's correct, my friends. Once a week, usually Saturday or Sunday, Soviet soldiers will march into Banya. So that's like wet sauna. And that's where they're gonna wash completely all the parts of their bodies. During the week, you probably could like try to wash your torso in a sink, but full body wash was once a week. And on the bottom of the list, there are some interesting numbers that relates to the food consumption of a Soviet soldier. 244 eggs, not a lot of eggs for two years or 730 days. 14.62 kilograms of butter and 548 pieces of sugar. And the guy who stole BTR-80 wasn't sure what does it mean, 548 cubes of sugar. A piece of white bread with butter, a hard-boiled egg, and a cup of black tea with a cube or two of sugar. Those were ingredients of the soldier's breakfast. So that's what we have on the bottom. 511 liters of black tea, 146 liters of kisiel. And Kisil translates as a jello, but it's like a drinkable jello. It's thicker as the normal like water, but it's not as thick as jello. And the last item on this list is 142 liters of compote. So compote is like a fruit drink. You boil apples, pears, whatever else you have, and add sugar, of course, and that's kind of Soviet pop, I guess. And on this page, we can find out what word Slushba stands for. Slushba means service, military service. Samim lutshim urokam Zhizni bila armia. The best lesson in life was army. And every Dembelsky album will feature this page. Prikaz Ministerstva Barone SSSR. So that's the order of Ministry of Defense of the Soviet Union. This one dated March 29, 1988, order number 119, about discharging from the military service all the soldiers that served for two years. And it's signed by Minister of Defense Yazov. By the way, Dmitry Yazov, who lost his job in August of 1991 because he was a part of the coup against Gorbachev, he was the last marshal of the Soviet Union. And what you see on this photo is so-called Pavestka. So this is a military draft notice that the guys would receive when they turn 18. And it says that according to the Soviet law about general military draft, you are required to show up for the military service. And here's the date is July 1986. And 730 days later, you will be discharged according to the order of the Ministry of Defense and you'll get a train ticket to go home. And here's the group photo of the fourth construction company, Straipat, Rota Nomer 4. And out of this 40 guys, more than a half, 23 people that I counted based on their looks and the last names, they came from the Southern Republics. So they served in Leningrad, so that's the Western European part of the Soviet Union, but most of them came from far south. And this is the guy who made this beautiful album. Unfortunately, I don't know his name. I saw the album on eBay, so I just copied the photos. So this is his military service back in Luga in 1986. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the story about Soviet Straibat construction battalion. As always, please don't forget to like this video, and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.